Welcome to another episode of Global Banking and Finance Review. My name is Ivica Lopez. Today we are going to talk about what happens to credit card debt after you die. We are giving away one of your subscription of Global Banking and Finance Review magazine to be delivered at your doorstep to one lucky winner. Stay with me for more information. Have you ever wondered what will happen to your debt after you die? Luckily, you will not be carrying it forward to your heavenly abode, but you will be leaving it behind for your family with a burden. Debts are inherited. Much like properties, debts too are inherited. Any kind of debt that is left behind will only be a headache for the descendants and much depends on how you have planned for the debts after your demise and also on how the family will handle the debt settlement. After death. So, if you're wondering what will happen to your credit card debt or the expensive car that you have bought, then we want to know more about what you will be leaving behind for your family to handle. Possible outcomes. Here are some of the possible outcomes if you pass away while holding credit card debts. In case of credit card debts, if the credit card owner is a sole applicant, and if he or she owns any property, stocks, or any other funds then these can be sold to clear off the debt. The balance of any will be handed over to the surviving family. In case a credit card holder does not have enough assets, which could be sold to pay for the debts, the lenders would find themselves in troubled waters, as they have to write off the unpaid debt amount and mark it as a loss. A non-probate property assigned directly to the hires of the deceased will not be available to creditors to retrieve the debt. Some assets will have a designated beneficiary, which is a specific set of instructions that is associated with any property on how to handle these assets in the event of demise of the owner. Such assets cannot be considered by a creditor company to claim any debt that is due to them from the owner. Even in the case of a joint tenancy in which two individuals can be owners, the surviving owner gets 100% ownership the moment the other owner passes away. This type of property too cannot be sold to reclaim any debt owed by the deceased. If the property owned is a community property, then the finances of the spouses are merged and there will be a liability of the spouse to clear the debt sold by the bare half. In some cases, there may also be a possibility of negotiating credit card debt after death of a family member. It depends on the creditor and the descendant who is handling the credit card formalities. It's important that the descendant, with the help of an attorney, intimate or write a letter to credit card company after death of the card owner. Only a good local estate planning attorney will be able to help and ensure that the hires get what was assigned to them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And one lucky winner will win one every subscription of Global Banking and Financial Magazine.